All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here with my friend Brett P, and today we're training arms. This arm workout is specifically from the last program that I launched called the High Evolutionary. All right, exercise number one is drag curls. These used to be pretty popular in the old, older, I'd say 80s, maybe a little bit of 90s. Um, you don't really hear too much about them anymore, but a drag curl, a regular curl, you typically think of um, moving in this plane. A drag curl, just as the name implies, you're just gonna drag the bar up your body. Now, normally I tell people to keep a straight wrist when they curl, so not this or not that, a straight wrist, but on these, it's a little more comfortable if you let your wrists hang a little bit this way. So, you're gonna do it like this, right up your body. Now, we have a straight bar. Sometimes this is hard on people's wrist, so if you need to use an easy curl bar, by all means use an easy curl bar. It doesn't take a lot of weight on these. It doesn't take a lot of weight at all. It's a real good isolation movement. You know, you can get a little bit of front delt into a regular curl, but these are really challenging. Take uh, about, a medium, about a medium width. Now, curling it right up my body, and I'm flexing. Just like this, right up my body. We're gonna go for 12 reps. So our target on this, we're gonna do three sets of 12. What I want is, I want your 12th rep to be really hard. I want it to be hard enough so that if you're gonna do another rep, you'd have to cheat but I don't want you to cheat, I want you to keep your form. So, and we're gonna move at a pretty quick pace on these. Biceps is a smaller muscle. Look, there's no need to sit around for three minutes in between a bicep curl. Um, so, three sets of 12 here. Notice how he's just, again, just dragging the bar right up his body. When you get to the top, flex. Think in your mind, I gotta drive a lot of blood in there. Don't just go through the motions on arms. You gotta really squeeze and apply a lot of tension. Again, this is only 65 pounds, but it burns like fire. Now I'm gonna get right in there and go. So you're only resting just while your partner is going. Oh man. On these, the hardest thing is just working through the burn. It just, the, these, it feels like there's a fire in your arms. Just work through the burn on these, okay? All right, so now we're going to our second exercise. It's, um, I call these preacher concentration curls just because I can't think of a better name. But when you're doing the preacher curl with the dumbbells, make sure you smash them together as you curl. That'll create a lot of tension. And you'll notice we're putting up uh, actual pictures from the program. Those are actually from the program, so you can see how they're rode up. So three sets of 10 here. Again, smash the dumbbells together. That one was a little light. Well, it wasn't light, but I didn't have to push to get that 10th rep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up, so I'm not gonna count that set. So if you get the 10th rep, and you know you got another two or three reps in you, which I did, don't count the set. Just bump the weight up a little bit.
All right, so we moved over to the other preacher curl. This was in use. So sometimes you have to get creative. Say we're, we, so we actually had jumped on the, the prime machine. But this is the, we're using the preacher part of the pad. You could also do these with this part of the pad. They would just be a spider curl, but it would be the same thing. So I went up to 30. Let's see how. That was a hard 10. That's what you want. You want that last rep to be pretty hard. Remember as you're doing these, so squeeze the dumbbells together. One more. All right, our third exercise is, a, is just a basic camera curl. Um, I'm gonna do one arm at a time, but you can do two arms at a time. We're doing 12 reps. The last rep, again, should be really hard to get the 12th rep. So it's only, nine sets but if you think about it we didn't work up to one big set like we do a lot of body parts we actually all three of the sets were actually really tough so it's nine really tough sets so if you do this and it feels easy then the sets probably weren't hard enough so just make sure your last rep is really really challenging and it would be really hard for you to do another rep with good form the thing about biceps is you can always cheat more reps you can always do that but I want your reps to be, I want your execution to be really, really good on these today. So three sets of 12 down hammers. burns i like to put a hammer variation in every bicep workout uh, it hits that brachialis muscle that sits in between your bicep and tricep which is actually the most powerful elbow flexor in the arm in the upper arm but when that muscle develops it pushes out your bicep and tricep and makes them look even bigger so i think you should always have some kind of hammer variation to really work that brachialis. Very, very underrated movement for, uh, for your arms. Make sure you're flexing your biceps and your upper forearm too. Flex everything. My forearm's getting a little ugly. Oh. Oh. Oh, I think that's 12. I know some of the weights we use today seem probably a little light, but they actually felt heavy enough to create a really good burn. When I was in my early 20s, I really struggled with arm development. Really struggled. And I was curling 80 pound dumbbells. I was barbell curling uh, a plate and a quarter, 185. Really all that heavy weight did was give me tendonitis in my arms. Elbows always hurt. Um, not only that, the tip of my elbow was always swelled up from doing skull crushers first for triceps. So my elbows were a mess all the way around. Now, once I lined up the weight and really focused on feeling the movements, people like to laugh and make fun of pumping and squeezing and all that. But that's what, in the long run, kept my arms growing because they had stopped growing for years. But when I backed off on the weight and I really focused on quality contractions, they started growing again. Um, that's one thing that I really, really like to tell 
tell guys is, look, I like to go heavy too, but when it comes to arms, you got to really make sure you're not uh, forgetting your form and actually feeling the muscle work. The last thing you want to do for arm development, if you want big arms, is just think about getting the weight from point A to point B. You got to think about quality contractions, okay? So that'd be my number one biggest tip I could give you. Um, you know, I'm it's a lot of times that there's six people curling in the gym, the other five people are using more weight than I am. You know, that's okay. It's all about how good they feel. All right, so we're going to start with triceps. Notice I got two ropes here, and I pull the. I just take a rope and I just pull it through. And I get it to where these are facing on the outside. So this will allow you to get back into extension more. So we're gonna start here, a couple sets to warm up. Keep your elbows pinned right here. So all the action is in your tricep. I like to lean forward a little bit so when my arm comes up, it's stretched. If you're right here, your tricep's not really stretched, but if you're right here, now it's stretched and all the way back and flex. So we'll do a couple sets to warm up here. And then we're gonna hit three sets of 12, just like we did on biceps, where the 12th rep should be really, really challenging. Really those hit uh, your entire tricep, really. I know sometimes we like to say, well, that's more of your long head, or your lateral head. And when you're working these real hard, you'll feel your whole tricep. So this pretty much covers everything. This feel phenomenal. All right, next up, we're gonna use a spongy grips. You guys know I love these. Keep your hands together. And now push straight down. So straight down right here. Stretch. You're still keeping your elbows locked in one spot. Straight down. My arms aren't big enough or my sleeves would be falling down. Gotta get those arms pumped up more. We're doing three sets of 12. See how his elbows aren't moving? It's all tricep driving straight down. Mm. Our next exercise is a kettlebell lying extension. I absolutely love doing these with kettlebell. So it's 10 times easier on my elbows. Plus we did the push downs first, which makes it even easier on your elbows. And these, um, these are very underrated as well. I don't see too many people doing them, but I think if you guys give these a shot, I think you'll really enjoy these. So we're gonna do three sets of 12 on these. See, I like the fact that you can drop it in right there. <clears throat> if you had a dumbbell, it would literally hit you in the head. So stretch. Notice I'm coming straight up, keeping tension on my tricep. I'm not swinging it over. This is all on my tricep. 12 reps is a long way. Ah, ah, ah. Oh man, whoo, those are fire. Oh. Good, good stretch. Good stretch. Good stretch. That's it. All right, so we're gonna do calves today too. We're gonna to finish up with calves. Standing calf raises. We're doing four sets of 10 on the standing calf raise. You're gonna do 10 full reps. And then I want you to do 10 partials out of the stretch position. Then I want you to sit into the stretch for 10 seconds. So that's uh, one set. And then when you're done, I want you to do some tibia raises. Just dorsiflexing your foot to get some extra blood down there. And we're gonna do four sets of that. So again, 10 reps, 10 half reps, a 10 second stretch at the bottom, and then 20 dorsiflexion reps. 
And I'll get something to put my heels up on so I can get a little bit more of a stretch in my tibia too.